Hey there. This is a quick video on how I use the app Alfred to search faster on GitLab. Uh, if you've never heard of it, Alfred is an app for macOS that essentially replaces your Spotlight with a better version with a bit more features. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show this small project called GitLab Speed Search, where I have a bunch of pre-saved searches uh, for GitLab and more using Alfred. <coughs> so what does it look like? Essentially, you open up the Spotlight from Alfred and then you can type in some keywords like GG for handbook and this will make a Google search for the handbook. So if we search for jobs to be done, perhaps, then it will bring up all the pages with jobs to be done. Um, but there are others as well. So if I want to see maybe all of my issues, right, uh, I can search for issue title, issue label, but issue author. So I can put my username and it will bring up all of the issues. If I want to see perhaps all the UX issues, I can go issue label and you see here I'm navigating with the um, with the keyboard arrows and I don't even need to type all of these uh, if I start to type issue and I just tab it will autocomplete so I can do issue label UX and it will bring all the issues that have the UX label um, there are some searches for merge requests as well so same thing MR author I can put maybe Hyanna's username and it will bring all of their open merge requests um, outside of the GitLab application, there are some saved search, some sorry, some searches saved for other stuff. So if we do people, um, again, I'm gonna put my own name, and then it searches for my name on the people page, right here. Scrolls all the way down. Um, other cool ones, jobs. So you know, if you want to re refer someone, you want to click it, search. Hey, is the UX researcher role still open? Yes, it's here. Um, and then some other stuff related to the design system or coding in general. So DS uh, does a Google search for the design system. So we can do button and it quickly brings um, these pages to zero well index on Google, even though pajamas has its own search, but it doesn't produce anything on the URL. So we need to use Google search for this. Now I showed a bunch of examples. How do you actually use this? Well, two steps. First step, you download Alfred and it's a free download. There's a power pack extension that gives you more features, but all of these uh, use the free version. So you can just download it, install it. Then you come to this project right here on the readme. There are some instructions and all the way down here are these searchers that I just showed. So if you click the, these links, it will ask you for permission to open on the app. And then you open on Alfred and you import it. I'm not going to do it because I already have it, but then it will import it and it will add to your Alfred. So the next time you open up the spotlight and you hit GG, it will show up here. Um, one important point, some of the searches have this, um, this exclamation mark. They only work natively on Chrome because it uses an experimental feature from Chrome. There are extensions for Firefox and Edge that do the same thing. So if you're using one of these browsers, make sure to add the extension. The Safari one is broken, unfortunately, but maybe it will be fixed at some point. And who knows, maybe it will go live on all the browsers. So browse around, see see what works for you. You can also customize these searchers, right? I created all of them, so you can just change the URL. Um, for example, you can make the issues always open your issues, for example, or you can create searches for another repository because these are all for the, for the GitLab application repo and you can add our own, your own, right? So there's some instructions here, but essentially you get the URL and you change the query. Uh, so here, if I use Google search for banana, you change banana for curly braces query, and then the search will, will do that. Um, lastly, there's a really nice bookmark feature that pretty much does the same thing, but instead of searching the web, it searches for your bookmarks. So what I do is I just add everything on my bookmarks, like. I don't even care. I don't even put in folders because I know I can do BK and then just search for, I don't know, release OKRs and it easily comes up because, oh yeah, I have to go back to the release OKR. So I know what I'm looking for. I just put in the name here and it comes back. Um, it's useful to save the bookmark with a name that makes it easier to find. So maybe here I would add, you know, Alfred shortcuts. And then, you know, uh, when I do offer shortcuts, it will bring up here. 
but you know it's it's a different feature you use it if it's useful for you um, hopefully this is useful if you have any questions or anything is broken feel free to open an issue on the repository or just hit me up on slack cheers <laughs>